When I say I'm anti-AI, this is what I mean. This is what it's like for the people who are living near the AI data centers. The light pollution is... We don't have to have a night light in the house. You can walk around the house at night and see everything. It's that bright. The wind blowing in all of this stuff from across the construction, across the road. This is all from Meta. When I smelled it the first time, I was, I was asleep. And it woke me up because I thought gas was seeping in the house, but couldn't find out. We come outside, and all the neighbors was outside trying to figure out what's going on. Last year, Alexis lost her grandfather, who struggled with a respiratory illness called COPD. COPD is a breathing condition, but you don't get it unless you smoke cigarettes. And my granddad didn't smoke cigarettes, but every three weeks or so, my granddad was going to the hospital. I have asthma bronchitis, my mom has just bronchitis, and now my granny has it. The area around XAI leads the state in emergency department visits for asthma. In just one year, XAI has blown past existing polluters. They are emitting somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000 tons of NOx. I'm an air pollution guy, so I deal in those numbers all the time, and that's larger than anything else in Memphis. And the first thing I did was hear the turbines. You can smell it as well. Such a disturbingly unique smell. And the U.S. government has just signed a bunch of executive orders to speed run AI development and growth, including opening federal land up for AI data centers, removing any sort of limitations in terms of Clean Air or Clean Water Act. And yeah, there's literal people who are suffering because of them.